Hey friends, welcome back to another yoga flow. Today we're going to be focusing a lot on the hips and the hamstrings as well as a little bit of the core and twists. There's a lot of things. We are going to be trying to work into a baby grasshopper or baby dragonfly pose so you know that where we're heading and if you've never heard of this before don't worry it's super fun uh, and yeah let's get into our bodies let's breathe let's move let's start on our backs in our shavasana so lying down extending your legs long maybe the palms face up towards the ceiling or maybe they're grounded on your heart and your belly. And take a few really big grounding breaths here. Maybe breathing in through the nose and then breathing out either through the nose or the mouth. Just feeling the body soften into the ground beneath you, knowing that it is there to support you. And see if we can turn up on this mat, not only physically, but also mentally, emotionally, just turning up with all facets of our attention right here, right now in this space. As we move today, we want to try to keep our focus as much as we can with our body, with our breath. If you do notice any thought patterns that do come up that you don't feel like serve, it serves you, as soon as you notice them, know that you always have the opportunity to let them flow. Let them go just like a river flowing down a mountain. And even though we are mostly practicing asanas here with our attention focusing on the breath and the movement, this goes much more beyond that and it will help us keep our attention and keep our presence as we move off the mat. See if we can expand our breath into the ribs and the diaphragm, the belly, the chest on the inhales, lifting the belly towards the ceiling. Every exhale, drawing it back down to the ground, back to the center. When you feel ready, let's start to draw the right knee into our chest. If you feel like you need a little bit longer to ground yourself, please take that time. So just a gentle roll from side to side of the knee. And then when you're ready, just taking the backs of the thighs, the thigh and just extending up and down with your breath. Maybe holding it at one position, turning the toes, turning the ankle. Just making this feel good in your body today. And then either just keeping the knee bent or you can straighten the leg. Maybe the piece fingers wrap around the toes. Let's gently twist our knee or leg over to the left side right hand extends out to a T and if you've got the legs extended you might feel this down the IT band the side of the leg right shoulder draws down towards the ground take one more breath and then return to center keep the right knee bent Take the left hand around the outside of the right foot. Start to bend the left knee in. Now the first stopping point is that you can lift the left 
leg towards the ceiling or you can bend the left knee and take your right hand around the outside of the left foot. This is probably going to feel like a lot for the hips so just take it where you need to. Ideally we're wanting our knees stacked here for our reclined Gomukhasana, our cow face pose. Take a big breath in. Big breath out, maybe drawing the heels a little bit closer, keeping the tailbones on the ground. Let's release the legs, draw the left knee into the chest this time, extend the right toes, maybe a little shift from side to side with the knee. When you are ready, just taking the hands behind the thigh, big breath in to lift the foot and then bring it back. And feel free to add on any movements in the way. And then either bending the knee or keeping it extended. Maybe a hand comes to the outside of the leg or the piece fingers come to the big toe if you're going for the full leg. L left hand comes out towards the left side and then gently draw the left leg down towards the right side. Big twist for the spine, opening for the leg. I gaze shifts down the left arm. When you're ready, let's come back to center. Keep the left knee bent. Take the right hand around the left outer edge of the foot. Right knee comes behind, maybe it's extended tall, or maybe you can take the left foot behind the right foot around the outside of the right foot. Big opener. Wow, I can feel this a lot. <laughs> Feels pretty good. Use your breath to soften. When you're ready, let's release the hands, extend both legs up towards the ceiling. Find your waterfall, turn the toes towards you. Soft bend of the legs if we need. Big breath in. As we exhale, start to lower the feet down towards a hover off the ground. Tailbone stays towards the ground. As we inhale, start to lift the feet back up. Let's try that one more time. Exhale to lower the feet. Let's inhale, start to lift. Exhale to lower. This time, optional add-on as we inhale to lift. Stay in your waterfall or press through the hands. Lift the hips. Come up and back into your halasana, your plow pose. Toes can be tucked. They can be untucked. They may not reach the floor and that's totally okay. Take a big breath in here. As you exhale, start to roll down the spine and lower your legs. Let's inhale, lift the feet again, either finding our waterfall or lifting up and then over. Big opening for the back of the body and the back of the legs. Try to lift the hips here, lift the belly. Inhale. As we exhale, lower the feet. This time, lift the hands above your head. As we inhale, reach the hands towards your feet, come into a pike. As we exhale, soften the legs down. Inhale, bring the hands by your sides, lift the feet, find your halasana, lifting up and then over. Exhale, inhale. As we exhale, soften through the spine, extend to the legs, reach the arms up and over. Inhale, reach up tall, try touch your toes. As we exhale, draw the feet down. Inhale to lift the feet and then exhale to come up and over. Inhale. As we exhale, soften the spine down, soften the legs. Bring the arms up and over. Changing it up this time. As we inhale, lift the left hand towards the right foot. Hold here, maybe clasping the outside of the leg or the outside of the foot. Gently draw the right foot over into a twist. Head comes down, maybe the left foot comes down or you can say at the hover. Both hips want to be on the ground. Let's inhale to come back up and then exhale, hover the feet, hover the hands. Let's try that again. Inhale to reach hand towards the left foot, right hand towards left foot. Exhale, draw the left foot over slightly. This is a big, 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 big 
sensation down the left leg. <laughs> Let's inhale, come back to center and exhale, drop it off. Lower both the hands and legs down to the ground. Let's draw the knees into the chest, little squeeze, little hug. And then when you're ready, just grabbing the backs of your legs, rocking and rolling up and down the spine. I'm gonna be here a few times, massaging the muscles around the spine that hold us together and the nerves as well. Let's try one or two more breaths. Next time we roll up, we're finding ourselves into a crouch position. So feet just outside hip distance or maybe hip distance. We just wanna be leaning ourselves forward here. The heels will probably be lifted. That's totally okay. We wanna try work into our ankle mobility. So start to lean yourself forward a little bit. If you need to shuffle yourself back, we're gonna to start to tip the knees forward on an inhale. As we exhale, open the arms wide, cactus out the arms, squeeze the glutes. Inhale to drop our hips back down to our heels, lift the knees off as much as we can, drop the heels down, exhale. Inhale, drop the knees forward, start to lift, squeeze the glutes, exhale, cactus the arms. Inhale to come back up, lift the knees, drop the, hip, the heels down. Let's try that one more time. Inhale to drop the knees forward softly, exhale, open the arms wide. Inhale to come back down, lift the knees, exhale, come here. Beautiful. Shift the weight forward slightly, lift the hips, find your forward fold. Then start to take the feet a little bit wider, turn the toes out slightly. Inhale, halfway lift. As we exhale, bend the knees, sink the hips back and down. We might be a little bit higher or we might be a little bit lower, finding our malasana. Try squeeze the glutes here. Press the elbows away into the legs. Lift tall through the crown of the head. Draw the shoulders back. Heels might be lifted here as well, and that's totally okay. Next inhale, let's reach the right hand out to the side. Lift the left hand up to a 45 degree. Exhale, maybe twisting a little bit further. Inhale, let's swap it out, left hand reaches. Exhale as we reach the right hand away. Beautiful. Let's bring our hands back to center, lift the hips, and then walk your feet together or hip width distance apart. Little bend of the legs here, dropping one leg down, other knee towards you. Let's plant the left hand onto the ground just in front of the left foot. Big, uh, bend the left knee here. Big breath in as we lift the right hand up towards the ceiling. If we can't touch the left hand down, just bring it up a little higher on the leg. When you're ready, take that right hand behind and bind it with your left hip. It might clasp on the left thigh. Let's start to shift the weight, the eye gaze down towards the foot. Shift the weight into the right foot and take a big step back with our left, finding a twisted lunge. Big breath in as we lift the right hand up and then exhale as we start to turn towards the left side of the mat, turn the right toes out, start to sink the hips down into our skandasana. So right knee presses out over the right toes. Try sink the, soften through the ankles, but it's okay if it's lifted. Left leg is long, left knee and toes turn up towards the ceiling. It is okay if we're a little higher here. Big breath in, try to lift, shoulders back. Exhale to soften. Press through the right heel, straighten through both legs, turn the toes in, inhale, halfway lift. As we exhale, folding down, prasadi to padottanasana. Maybe a little shift of the hips from side to side. Finding the length through the back of the legs. Start to turn your eye gaze towards the left foot, pivot, place the right hand down. Big breath in as we lift the left hand up towards the ceiling. As we exhale, bring that hand behind to meet at the right hip. Look down, take a big step forward with your right foot, replace it on the ground. Bend the right knee, look up. Big breath in as we lift the left hand and then exhale, forward fold. Little shake out of the legs. Let's inhale, ripple through the spine, lift the arms above the head. 
as we exhale send it back down into your forward fold we're going to try that on the other side so place the right hand down bend the right knee big breath in as we lift the left hand up big twist as we exhale draw the left hand towards the right hip look down inhale as we exhale take a big step back with our right foot find a twisted lunge Inhale, let the left hand reach up and then over as we exhale, shift towards the right side, soften our hips down to our left heel, Skandasana. Press the left knee out over the toes, lift the right knee, lift the right toes. Maybe the hands come to heart center here if you feel like you have room. Inhale. As we exhale, start to press through the left heel, turn the toes in, lengthen the legs. Soften your chest down, lift the hips high. One more breath here. And start to turn towards the front of the mat again. So pivot onto the right toe, onto the right foot. Big breath in as we lift the right hand up towards the ceiling. As we exhale, bind it towards the left hip. Look down. Take a big step forward with the left foot on an inhale. As we exhale, bend the left knee, open yourself towards the side. Big breath in, lift the right hand up towards the ceiling. And as we exhale, forward fold. Draw the chin into the chest, bend your knees here. Next breath in, big ripple through the spine, lift the arms. Maybe a baby back bend, lengthen through the front of the hips. And then exhale, send it back down. Let's inhale, halfway lift. As we exhale, bring the hands to the ground, step it back, find your plank. As we exhale, bend the elbows, come all the way down to your belly. Inhaling, baby cobra, pull the shoulders back. As we exhale, press through the hands, tuck onto the toes, downward facing dog. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Find your breath. Find some movement that feels good in your body here. Maybe bending one knee, bending the other knee. When you are ready, next breath in. Let's walk towards the top of the mat. Feet together or slightly apart. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift, hands to shins, draw shoulders back. As we exhale, dive the heart. Inhale to ripple through the spine, lift the arms, maybe baby back bend. As we exhale, Tadasana, hands come by the side. We're going to try that again, adding on just a little bit. Big breath in, lift the arms. As we exhale, hands come to heart center, sink hips back, twisted Utkatasana, left elbow comes onto the outside of the right leg. Inhale to twist, exhale to soften. Inhale to reach the hands back tall. As we exhale, push the hips back. Right elbow comes onto the outside of the left leg. One breath here. Next, inhale to lift tall. As we exhale, dive it forward, soften the knees. Inhale, halfway lift and lengthen. As we exhale, plant the hands down, step or jump back through your Shataranga, bending the elbows. Inhaling, upward facing dog, if we feel warm. As we exhale, downward facing dog. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Keep lifting the tailbone up towards the ceiling, lengthening through the spine. Next inhale, you can walk or you can jump in between your arms, your hands, exhaling to fold forward, Uttanasana. Inhaling, halfway lift. As we exhale, dive it back forward. Inhale to ripple through the spine, lift the arms. Squeeze the glutes as we exhale, hands come to the side, Tadasana. Inhale to lift the arms again. As we exhale, bend to the legs, hands to heart center, left elbow over the right thigh, look up. Next, inhale, lift the arms. Exhale, other side, right elbow around the left thigh. Inhale to rise. Exhale, dive it forward, soften the legs. Inhale, halfway lift. As we exhale, step or jump back, shataranga. 
Inhaling, flowing through into your upward facing. Squeeze the glutes. Exhale, downward facing. Option at any point, if, if you're feeling a little bit rushed, please take your own time. If you feel like coming into a child's pose at any point, please do as well. I'm just offering a sequence to you, but you know your body best. Next inhale, we can walk, we can step, jump in between our hands. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold again. Inhale to ripple through the spine. Lift the arms. As we exhale, hands down, Tadasana. Squeeze the glutes, open through the heart space. Let's move into our main sequence. Inhale, lift the hands high. As we exhale, sink the hips back, hook the left elbow over the right thigh. Twisted Utkatasana, lift the belly away from the thighs. Start to shift your eye gaze down towards your feet. Draw the weight into the right foot. Start to hover the left foot off the ground, maybe drawing the right heel towards the glutes. Big breath in here. As we exhale, take a long step back with the left foot. Find our twisted lunge. Arms can stay at prayer or you can start to open the arms wide. Trying to draw the right shoulder back. Next inhale, start to straighten through the right leg. It's probably not going to get all the way back. Finding our Pari Frita Utita Trikonasana, our revolved triangle with the left heel off. Try to lengthen through the crown of the head here. One more breath. Next inhale, drop the left heel down. Lift the arms above the head. As we exhale, open the elbows wide. Find your cactus. Start to shift your hands in front of your right heel. Tuck onto the toes. Little hop forward. Find your standing splits, lifting the left toes up towards the ceiling. And then start to bend the knee and open the hip. Soft bend of the standing leg here. Eye gaze on the right ankle. You might stay here or you might be able to reach the right hand towards the left foot. If it can touch, start to kick into the left foot. Finding a big opener through the right hamstring and then the left hip. We've got some big transitions coming up. Release the right hand if you've got it. Come onto your fingertips. Big breath in. As we breathe out, tap the left toes towards the left wrist. Right hand is going to come around the outside of the left foot. Soften the right knee and using the strength of the back and your leg, start to lift the left foot up, revolving and twisting that left hand back, right hand forward. You can stay here with this twist or you can try with me, find a pistol squat. So starting to bend the right leg, send the hips back. Maybe the left hand comes down to catch you. When you're ready, pushing back up using the strength of the leg. And that's okay if it fell over. That's a whole part of the fun. <laughs> Lift tall, inhale. As we exhale, release the left foot. Start to tip from the hips. Find your standing splits again. Reaching the hands down, bending the left knee. When you're ready, take a long step back with the left foot. Draw the left knee down to the ground. Slide it in. Coming down to seated, right foot comes over the left foot. Left foot can either extend out long or we can bring it in. Little moment of ease. Let's breathe in to lift tall. As we exhale, start to twist. Open your eye gaze towards over the right shoulder. Settle your breath. One more breath here. Start to unwind. Turn the right toes towards the left side of the mat. We're going to turn towards the back, finding a plank position. So the left toes are going to tuck. Once the left toes are tucked, big breath in, draw the right knee into the nose. 
As we exhale, send the hips up. Find a three-legged dog, right toes lifting high. Inhale, ripple through the spine, find your plank again. As we exhale, either straight back into a down dog or flowing through your vinyasa. Totally up to you. Big breath in through the nose. Big breath out through the mouth. Soften. Next breath in, let's step or we can jump in between our feet. As we exhale, fold it forward. Inhale, bend the legs, ripple through the spine, lift the arms, maybe baby back bend. As we exhale, bring the hands down, find our Tadasana. We are going to try that big sequence on the other side. Let's inhale, lift the arms. As we exhale, Push the hips back, right elbow comes onto the outside of the left leg. Eye gaze looks up and over that left side of the body. Lift the belly away from the thighs. So that's to shift the eye gaze down towards the ground. Shift the weight into the left foot. Right foot starts to hover or maybe it comes up towards the hips. Big breath in. As we breathe out, take a long step back with the right Toes, soften here. You can stay here or you can start to expand the arms long. When you're ready, take a big breath in. As we exhale, start to lengthen through that front leg, finding our revolved trikonasana. Soft bend in the leg. You should probably feel a very strong sensation down the side. Keep drawing the left shoulder back. One more breath here. When you're ready, starting to soften that right knee down to the ground. Big breath in, lift the arms. As we exhale, start to open the elbows wide. Shift the weight forward. Tuck the toes. Little hop and extend the right toes up towards the ceiling. Standing splits, breathe in. As we breathe out, maybe bending the right knee. Eye gaze on the left ankle. Maybe you stay here or maybe... The left hand comes around the right foot. If it does find, maybe find a little kick here. If you've got the hand on the foot, let's release it. Bring the left fingertips down. Tent up the fingertips. Breathe in. As we breathe out, draw the right toes towards the right wrist. Round up through the upper back. Start to bring the left hand around the edge of the right foot. Using the strength of the legs and the core, start to lift yourself up into your twisted, twisted, I can't remember what this pose is called. <laughs> twisted something. You can stay here. You can come out whenever you want. Draw the shoulders down. Or if you want to try, find a pistol squat. Push the hips back. Maybe you only come halfway. Or maybe you start to sink it down towards the ground. And maybe the hands help you. When you're ready, start to press through the heel again to lift. Release the hand when you're ready. Big breath in. As we exhale, start to tip from the hips, lift the right toes back up, standing splits, maybe bending the right knee. Breathe in. As we exhale, take a long step back with the right foot, start to draw the knee in. Bring the sit bones down into the ground. Take that left foot up and over the right thigh, either keeping the right foot in or extending it out. Let's breathe and try to lift tall. As we exhale, wrap the right elbow around the left, finding a twist. Catching your breath. When you're ready, we're going to unwind, unravel. So turn towards the right. Turn the left toes towards the side. Bring the hands back towards the front of the mat. Right foot is long. Breathe and lift the left nose towards, left knee towards the nose. As we exhale, send the left foot up towards the ceiling. Three-legged dog. 
Inhale to ripple through the spine, bring the left foot down. Either sending it straight back or exhaling to flow through. Using your breath to move. We start to shift our weight forward, either sipping or jumping in between our hands, inhaling and then exhaling, folding it forward. Inhaling, halfway lift and lengthen. As we exhale, fold it forward. Inhale to ripple through the spine, lifting the arms above the head. Maybe baby back end, exhaling to soften. Find a few moments of breath. We're going to flow through that sequence one more time each side. This time I'm going to add on the option to go into grasshopper, baby grasshopper. We are super warm for it. So we can give it a try. Let's inhale, lift the arms above the head. Exhale, sink the hips back, hook the left elbow over the right thigh, look to, over to your right side. Start to shift the weight in, uh, shift the eyes towards the ground, shift the weight to the right foot, left foot hovers, breath, big breath in. As we exhale, take a long step back, find your twisted lunge. Lift the left back of the thigh towards the ceiling. Maybe starting to expand the arms here, lifting tall, big breath in. As we start to exhale, starting to lengthen through that right leg. Let's draw the left knee down to the ground. Big breath and lift the arms above the head. Exhale as we open the elbows wide. Shift the weight forward. Tuck onto the left toes. Send the left toes up towards the ceiling. Standing splits. And then bending the knee, opening the hip. Again, maybe reaching the right hand around to touch. Maybe finding a kick. Breathe in. Release the foot on the exhale, coming onto fingertips. Then take, take that left foot towards the left wrist. Take the right hand around the left foot. Second time on the side. Start to push through the right heel as we lengthen and lift ourselves up. Reaching the left fingertips away, spinning our heart space over to the left side of the mat. Lift tall through the waist. You can stay here or you can try to find a twisted Pistol squat by sending the hips back and down. Maybe the heel lifts. Maybe we come out of it and that's totally okay. Breathe in. Lift tall. As we exhale, lose the hand on the foot. Start to tip. Find that standing splits again. Bend the knee. Open the hip. Now, here's your chance to find your first variation of a grasshopper. If you don't know what this looks like, then have a look at the screen. You're gonna take your right foot, right hand around the left foot, clasping around the outside of the left foot this time. We're gonna to start to sink the hips back. The right knee comes behind the left leg, Le left foot comes out towards the side. Trying to hover the leg, the hips, the heel off the ground. Yeah, big strong pose. If you've found yourself in this pose, let's breathe in and push ourselves back up into that standing splits. And then exhale, take a long step back. Actually just tuck the knee under. Nice, take that right foot behind the left thigh. Let's try breathe into lift tall, exhale to twist. A little moment to just breathe and be in your body. I'm going to offer a second way to get into that pose. You might find this a little bit easier if you weren't able, if you didn't try that on the first side, you might be able to try it on this one. So what you're going to do, I'm going to be facing away from this, but just have a look or listen. You want to turn the right toes towards the left side of the mat. Start to shift your weight towards the left. Extend the left foot out long. So we're in that position, but we're down on the ground. 
Maybe the right shoulder scoops in front of the left shin and reaches towards the outside of the left foot. Using the strength of the leg, maybe starting to lift the foot off the ground. Maybe holding here for a second and then release them back down towards the ground, shift towards the back of the mat, hands plant wide, tuck onto the left toes, breathe and lift the knee towards the nose. Exhale, three-legged dog, right toes lift high. As we exhale, ripple forward through your spine, bending the elbows, or going straight back. A few breaths in your Adha Mukha Svanasana. Next inhale, we can step or we can jump in between our hands, finding a way into a forward fold on an exhale. Inhaling halfway left, hands to shins, looking forward slightly. As we exhale, soften the head down. Inhaling to ripple through the spine, lifting the arms above the head, reaching high. Maybe baby back bend. Exhaling, hands come back down. Last side, last time. We're going to slow way down after this. As we inhale, lift the hands high. As we exhale, sink the hips back, right elbow hooks over the left thigh. Look up and over the left side body. Shift the eye gaze back down towards the ground. Shift the weight into the left foot. Start to hover the right foot off the ground. Big breath in. As we breathe out, take a long step back with the right foot. Find that twisted lunge. Lift the eye gaze. Start to straighten through the arms. If you would like, expand the heart space. Breathe in. As we breathe out, start to lengthen through that front leg. Maybe a little, maybe a lot. Let's start to soften the right knee down towards the ground. Big breath in to lift the arms. As we exhale, start to open the elbows wide. Shift the weight forward, tuck onto the right toes, lift the right toes up, three, three legged dog, standing splits, bend the knee, open the hip, maybe the left hand comes towards and touch. Find your breath. If you've got the grip on the hat, on the foot, release it, come onto fingertips, breathe in. As we breathe out, round through the upper back, right toes touch right wrist. Left hand hooks around the outside of the right foot. Using the strength of the core and the leg, start to lift. Reaching the right hand back. Reaching the left, the right heel forward. Twisting yourself. You can stay here. Or you can try and find a pistol squat. Hips go back. And then when you're ready, finding your way back takes practice. My left side is not as fluent with these as my right. When you're ready, big breath in. As we exhale, release the foot, start to tip back into your standing splits, reaching the right toes high, bending the knee. Now second opportunity with this side. Left hand comes to the outside of the right foot. Start to bend the left knee, take the right knee around the outside of the left foot. Hips start to sink back. Left, right foot pushes out to the left. Lean forward. Okay, that's what's gonna stop us trying to fall over. If you're in this position, start to press through the left heel. Just bind your way back up into that, that Standing splits, bent knee. When you're ready, let's soften the right knee down towards the ground. Take that left foot up and over the leg, extending the right leg or keeping it in. Big breath into lift. Exhale to twist. Look over the left shoulder.
big poses make the softening, make the snow, slowness a little sweeter. Now we can find that pose the different way on the side. If you wanted to take it, you can totally stay here. If you wanted to have a try, turn the left toes towards the right side of the mat, start to shift your body towards the right side, extend the right foot out, start to lean forward, bring the shoulder in front of the left shin, clasp the left hand around the outside of the right heel, and maybe set yourself forward, lifting the foot off the ground. Maybe you come back down. Keep playing with this if you want to. Otherwise, turn towards your front of the mat again. Take your right leg long. Bring the knee into the nose. As you exhale, three-legged dog last time. And then start to shift the weight forward on an inhale. Find your plank. Either send it straight back or exhale. And then we'll all find a way into a child's pose. So take the knees wide. Let's go back, reach the hands forward. Don't know about you guys, but I got pretty sweaty. going to slow things down make it juicy make it slow <laughs> reward ourselves for the hard work we've done let's inhale let's roll ourselves up to our tabletop hands come under shoulders let's inhale drop the belly lift the eye gaze and then exhale round through the upper back draw eye gaze in between the legs a few rounds in your own time maybe shift from side to side forward and back And then on your next inhale, let's start to ripple through the spine, maybe taking the arms a little bit more forward. Start to soften the hips down towards the ground. Squeeze the glutes. If any pain comes up through the back, drop the elbows down a little bit further, even maybe come down to the ground into a sphinx pose. Otherwise, finding our seal, drawing our tailbone down towards our feet to lengthen through the lower spine. Shoulders pull back. You can stay here or you can start to shift onto the left side body. Right hand comes in front of you. Maybe you stay here and just soften into that left oblique and left hips. Or you could take your right foot behind you, plant into your left hand, breathe and lift the hips and find a wild thing. We've done a little bit of back opening and back bending today, so this might feel okay. But if it doesn't, for any reason, please soften back down. And then when you're ready, let's come back down. Soften the left hip and then turn to the other side. So either just dropping in. This actually feels really good. So feel free to stay here. Or you could take your left foot behind you. Big breath in to lift the hips up, reaching the left fingertips towards the top of the mat. And then when you're ready, just softening the hips back down, return back to center. And then drawing ourselves back into our tabletop. Let's round through the upper back, find our cat. And then return back to center. Nice. Let's take our knees wide. Uh, if you've got concrete on the ground like me and, or something hard, maybe wood, feel free to go onto the side of the mat. And if you've got carpet, lucky you, <laughs> draw the knees wide. Now you can stay here in a wide leg child's pose, or you could extend your feet out into a frog pose. This is pretty juicy. Again, we haven't really done too many external poses today where the hips are open towards the side. So this is kind of nice to, to do at the end. Try to flex the toes here. 
Lift the belly into the spine and maybe shift forward and back. This might feel quite uncomfortable, so please use your breath. Try to soften. We'll try maybe two more breaths here. And then when you're ready, just drawing the big toes in, sliding the knees back up, find your tabletop again, little shift from side to side with the hips. Let's bend one knee, just take some, a few circles and swapping it out. And then change legs over. And then swapping it out. When you're ready, just crossing over the feet. Come into a seated position. Let's extend the left foot long. Bring the right foot onto the inner thigh. Big breath in to lift and lengthen. As we exhale, start to tip from the hips, draw the knee, the nose down towards the knee. Janu Shushasana, our head to knee pose. If you can, draw the left toes back. And as we start to slow things down, see if we can find our ujjayi breath. That constriction at the back of the throat. If you're about to fog up the mirror, this is, it should feel like that. And it just slows and gives us something to focus on. One more breath. Next inhale, let's start to walk ourselves back. Let's cross the right knee over the left and maybe that's our first stopping point. Or maybe we tuck it the left foot in, finding our Gomukhasana again, our cow face posed. Let's breathe in, lift the left arm. As we exhale, bend the left elbow. Maybe the right hand comes up on top or maybe it comes behind, just for an arm opener. And if neither of those are for you today, no worries, you can bring the hands down to the ground. Let's breathe and try to lift tall. As we exhale, start to shift our weight forward. Just a little bit, a few centimeters is all you need. Keep the head pressing back onto the elbow. One more breath. And then release the arms, release the legs. Let's try that on the other side. Let's extend the right foot out, left foot comes to the inner thigh. Big breath into lift. As we exhale, start to shift our nose down towards the knee. Notice if your mind has floated away and see if we can practice coming back, returning just for the last few moments of practice. Let's try one more breath. When you're ready, start to walk your hands back. Let's take the left knee over the right this time, either keeping the right foot out or you can extend it in. Maybe the hands stay down or maybe big breath in, lifting the right elbow, bending it, either left arm comes on top or it can come behind. Let's try breathe in again. As we exhale, maybe we start to tip forward. This is not a necessity. We don't want to curve our spine too much here. So keep pressing the head back. Let's try one more breath. And then releasing the hands, releasing the legs. Great opportunity to put on something warm before we head down onto the ground for Shavasana. 
or close to it. When you are ready, just gently roll down through the spine. Maybe there is another pose you'd like to do. Maybe a happy baby. Maybe another twist. Or if you're feeling pretty ready, just extending your legs long. If that's the way that you want to take Shavasana. But know that there are so many other places. The most important thing is that you feel comfortable. You can rest and soften. Whenever you've found a position that feels comfortable, see if you can take a few deep breaths and every exhale, just letting the body go, letting the body soften and deepen. Try to relax the jaw, relax the mouth, the eyebrows and the eyelids. Let's give ourselves a little bit of quiet stillness to absorb everything that's just gone on with our body and our mind. Just notice if your mind has wandered off. Just remind yourself that you always have the opportunity when you do notice these thoughts, you have the opportunity to bring it back, to ground yourself in the present. Start to reconnect with the breath. Maybe starting to bring some movement back into your body. But know that you can always rest 
for much longer. In fact, I encourage it. So if you want to, you can totally pause the video and just keep lying down for a wee while longer. If you feel ready to move, maybe taking a few bigger movements. When you're ready, we will find a way into a seated position, whatever way that is for you. Once you have landed there, let's close down the eyes. Lift all through the spine. Now for me, this practice was a lot about fun and just exploring different parts of our body and just taking on a little bit of a challenge. So perhaps you could think about as we finish this practice and perhaps the time after this practice, how can I bring more play, more exploration and curiosity into my day to day? Let's bring the hands to heart center. Moment of gratitude of anything that you would like to shine a light on. And I thank you for coming and practicing and having fun and perhaps trying something that you've never tried before. And I hope to see you again soon. Namaste.